Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Space Funeral. Um, you folks know me at this point, I absolutely love these abstract RPG Maker games, and believe it or not, this was one of the great granddaddies of that sort of subgenre. Um, it was one of the first, or at least one of the first that I'm aware of, it was released, I think, 2010? Uh, it was created by the Catlamities. Let's go ahead and start this. Eat your greens. Your mother and I think you should leave. 30 seconds in, we already see ourselves dead. I think this is sort of like an inn. Yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at our status real quick. Um, wait, what? Oh, right. We play as Philip, a, uh, a sad. That's his class. <laughs> That's not how he's feeling. That is his bonafide class. There we go. I think, uh, rubles? Rubbles? Not quite sure how you say that, but I believe that is the currency of the game. Oh, dang. <laughs> a little bit of a gore warning, by the way. This game is, is very bloody at times. Although, like a lot of these games I, I tend to play, the game doesn't really care. It's important to obey, all, to obey all the rules. Think about it. Think about it, folks. I hear the Lion Village will pay a lot of rubles for one for old steak, but you didn't hear it from me. I love the NPC design in this game. There's a wizard on that cliff, but it's too late for you. I hear there's a lot of blood in Blood Cavern. <laughs> I am Muscle Hedonist. You have what it takes to be champ. Want to learn some combat tips? Uh, I think we'll be good. I am Wise Muscle. Don't listen to that other guy. Listen to my song. I am secretive muscle. I know I know much, but say little. The mystery command can be used once per battle. It might make mysterious things happen. I think these three are bonafide tutorials. Do they actually... Oh, yeah, yeah, they just tell you stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of, like, elements and items in this game, although, frankly, this is one of those games in which you really don't need to know that much in order to actually beat it. I think the game is only around, uh, around a half hour long, too, if you know what you're doing. Good grief, good grief. It's, uh, it's Lucy from, uh, from the Peanuts. <laughs> you know, famed b-ball star Lucy from the Peanuts. Uh, this is your shop. We have a small blood, a small nut. Let's see here. I think, uh, actually, the only... Restores the dead, but they still feel gross. <laughs> we can't actually afford the one item that we can equip in that menu. Blood Cavern is uh, to the north. It is full of dreadful things. Hmm. Let's head off this way first. Good grief, you'll need a ship to explore the Bone Swamp. Rep one for five rubles? Yes. I believe this is where you gotta go first. And here we are. So we're at the first dungeon of the game. Let's fight some monsters. Skull Crab and Spooky Arm. Oh, I love the battle theme in this game. By the way, it doesn't really look like it, but this game actually runs off an ATB meter. Um, <laughs> and like I just said, it's not that difficult of a game either. A little fun fact about the, um, the music in this game. I believe every single song in Space Funeral um, is taken from like some public domain BBC source. So a lot of them are super abstract, um, there's a good chance you've never heard any of them, and for some odd reason, they're all really fitting for like every exper or every scenario the, de um, the dev put them in. <laughs> Typically you wouldn't expect that, but that is the case here. You, fe um, you fellow Swamp Knight have... Yon fellow Swamp Knight have been savaged by the Swamp Trog. I fear he is not, he is not long. Big Blood. I don't think we have one, no. I think if you give that guy a big blood, he'll give you something. Traveler beware, there's a deadly swamp trog in the bone tunnels. As for abilities Philip has right now, um, I think the only skill he has available is, uh, oh wow, he actually has a lot more than I thought he did. 
increases attack, burst into tears to reduce enemy defense, a damaging heavy blow. However, um, he also has mystery. Oh. <laughs> okay, fine. What mystery can do is, um, just about anything. It's basically the metronome in the game, and the fact that they give it to the main character, I think tells you a lot about the kind of tone this game is going for. <laughs> oh, there's a big blood. Let's go take that back to the knight. That hit the spot. Thank you, stranger. Take this skull scroll. It may be useful against the swamp trog. Receive the coin trick skill scroll. Activate it in the item menu. If distracted, the swamp trog may be unable to use certain skills. Use it wisely, stranger. So we got a new item there. Teaches coin trick skill. There we go. Chance of distracting enemy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use it on the boss. We have a lot of MP, so we can afford to to defeat. Oh, we can afford to just go all willy nilly on monsters if we want. There we go. I think that's the boss right there. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, use an item. There we go. All right, you folks ready for this? Oh, hello. You woke me up. Are you another one of those night things? It's not nice to disturb other people's naps. We have the Swamp Trog. So like that, um, like that knight said, let's go ahead and try coin, coin trick. That work? <laughs> I actually don't know if that worked or not. Let's go ahead and buff up and then just use some normal attacks. He's missing, that, that's good. Reduce defense. Now let's use some typical attacks. Huh? Uh-oh. There we go. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> he reads you a sermon. <laughs> Wait, what? Can't use that skill for some reason. Oh, moral! He put a status ailment on me. I actually forgot there were status ailments in this game, I'm not gonna lie. I'm going to assume that one is sort of like silence. <laughs> Lunge. Okay. A focused hat. Oh, it's an accessory for some reason. This hat will prevent distraction. Oh, if only the boss was wearing that. <laughs> And a rusty knife. There we go. Now we don't need to buy one. I think that might be all that's in here. For some reason, that chest appears open, even though I did collect what was inside of it. Kind of strange how the game does that. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's just a skull on the ground. You know, what small criticism I do have this game, it's a little bit difficult to tell what you can and cannot interact with. Since the game has such a- the game has a deliberately morbid style, which does look really nice. Well, a nice- <laughs> that's a conservative way to put it. You know what I mean, though. Like, it's- it's an interesting style, and one that certainly uh, catches your attention. And I like it. The dev of this game is a pretty chill guy, too. I follow him on Twitter, and he's pretty amazing. <laughs> he's made a few more games, and uh, all of them are about as abstract as this one. It's something he's pretty he's pretty known for. The ram heads are artifacts of a more civili um, civilized time. There are some typos in this game, although I'm not going to lie, given the kind of tone this game has, I wouldn't be surprised if they were intentional.
Just bask in the morbid art style. <laughs> we get an antidote. Is there poison in this game? Yes, it is. Freshen's room. <laughs> I like that. This game is good flavor text. Uh, you're going straight at me. I might as well fight you. Blood puke. That missed. Those blood wolves sort of remind me of a, of a monster from a project I'm working on called Gorehounds. <laughs> They're pretty much just like bloody wolf skeletons given form. Whoa. Uh. Okay, I guess I can't interact with you. <laughs> like I said, it's kind of difficult to tell what you can and cannot interact with. That's still missed. Alright, cool. I wonder if Blood Puke can poison you, considering that those monsters drop antidotes, and that's typically what they do. A mysterious letter. Read it. It says, expect the worst. What a bad letter. Hmm, <laughs> I might need to fight you. Those wolves make up the line toward you really quickly. You worms, you slime. You barbaric ways are no match for the leg horse. Do we have a new friend up here? You cringing pus, join me or die. There's no other way. So we have a new party member. This is a leg horse. Um, he has a leg heal as well. He has a, uh, a move that hits all monsters. Priest of the World may inflict moral condition. And as we've seen, that's basically... Oh, goodness. That, leg horse is a fan favorite, by the way. <laughs> a lot of people like leg horse. And if you can't quite tell what he is by the sprite, he is a... He is a bloody horse made out of mutilated legs. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I underestimated you. Your name is Philip, eh? I am Leghorse. From now on, you shall obey my every command. You will accompany me to the Blood Cavern. There is a certain wizard that I must meet. The fate of the world depends on it. <laughs> I forgot about his mugshot. That's amazing. <laughs> it's just a bloody stump. Hmm. So now we have a goal. And you know what? Given that we didn't really have much to do otherwise... Might as well go to the Blood Caves. Is that a shark? Wait. <laughs> I'll, I'll get there in a second. Let's fight the shark, I guess. A ground shark. Devour. Oh, that missed. I can really auto a lot of these battles, I'm not gonna lie. Mild Restorative. Restores the dead, but they still feel gross. Oh, we saw that in the shop. Hello. What ho? What ho? I have a strange item which may be of use to you. I will sell you my strange item for a hundred rubles. Heavy Restorative. Restores the dead and puts a spring in their step. I'm assuming that's a more powerful mild restorative. The blood dock is just through here. We can get a ship onto the heart of the blood cavern. Hurry up, you oaf. This game is a blood motif, if you can't tell. <laughs> oh, alright. I'm gonna auto this. I'm kinda- I, I've actually never seen the auto work in this game- or used in this game. Oh, dang! But He ate the leg horse for a second. So it looks like auto just makes them nor use normal attacks over and over again. That's fine. Oh, you're an NPC. <laughs> Listen to this old sea rogue. There is no return from Blood Cavern. You better go prepared. I'm just saying. Yeah, so I believe this is a point of return, but it's it's space funeral. 
The secret location of Lion Village, I'll never tell. I am Tear the Bone. I am heading north to join up with Rip the Blood. Might as well heal. Wait, what'd that say? You feel better, but not much. <laughs> Your mission leads north. You will surely die there. I love these dogs, by the way. They just look really cool. You have a boat ticket for sale here. You want to buy the boat ticket. Oh, wait, it's up here. Thankfully, it doesn't cost that much. The leg horse equips boots. Um, I'm not exactly sure what he has equipped right now, but I might as well. Yep, that's more powerful. And yeah, that's more powerful too. He's wearing pants. <laughs> My name is Prince of Bones. I am the captain of the blood ship. Buy a ticket in the hut. Talk to the mate when you're ready to leave. I'm assuming that's you. My muscular form allows me to crush bugs and mice. Oh, never mind. Oh, you can walk over those? Interesting. Are you ready to leave? All aboard. The ship is heading to Malice, but we stop. Uh, we stop off the blood um, at the Blood Cavern. Lions have a have a special lion code. We use it to hunt prey and buy stocks. Don't bother the captain during the voyage. If you have the flex muscle skill, you can use it in battle to become muscled for several turns. It's true. I'm hungry. As a criminal, I am weak against Bibles, but strong against hypno rings. Look, coming down the Blood River. What is it you say? I heard an old man once refer to it as an error. No one knows what they were originally. Something, uh, something which broke, uh, uh, broke or couldn't be translated due to the great, uh, great, great change. In the world, in the world we're in now, we cannot even imagine what it might once have been. That shape is no, lo no longer exists. What? What? Why am I telling you this? Get out of my sight. Next stop, Blood Cavern. This monologue, this is the OST for the area, by the way. I don't think there are monsters here either. Oh, this is morbid. I love this visual. <laughs> Get back, you fool. I must speak to the wizard alone, or it is of great importance. Wizard Grum is ready to see you. First things first, let's, uh, let's take this chest. Poisons the owner, but increases the Oh, jeez. Huh. That's interesting. How do you do that actually legitimately? I <laughs> maybe like a like a passive stat or something or status? I don't know. I am the wizard Grum. I understand you have a question for me. It's too late for you. However, I sense a mysterious fate in store for you. I can tell you more if you let me drink your blood. Sure, I guess. Although I did detect some minor amb ambiguities, perhaps if I could take one more sip. Oh well, can't blame an old man for trying. Now listen, your quest leads north to the City of Forms. Fun fact, I think if you let him drink enough of your blood, you actually get a game over. So make sure you save before this. <laughs> Continuing through this cavern leads to the Town of Malice. From there, head east to the, to the Mystery Forest. Heading north through the Ghost Forest leads to the Wastelands. You may meet an old friend of mine. And to the north of that, who knows? You'll probably be dead by then anyway. Now off you go. You'll get no more help from me. I like things like this. Okay, I guess. Don't talk to me right now. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I forgot where 
we actually go from here? Wait. Oh yeah, that's an exit. Uh, I decide to travel with you to the City of Forms. Don't think about disobeying. I am Leg Horse. I have reasons of my own for wanting to go there, so we may as well travel together. Besides, I sense a great evil in the cavern. Leg Horse rejoins the team. Sometimes it seems my blood spurts out in gobs, and if, I, and if it were a fountain's pulsing sobs, I clearly hear it muttered as a, as a ghost yet cannot find the, wo the wound from which it flows. Before I meet you, met you, baby, I didn't know what I was missing. So we have an impromptu boss, the Blood Ghoul. Huh? Oh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Chris attack inflicts poison and berserk. Interesting. You know what, let's do that. That's basically piercing. So Philip is in a blood rage right now, which basically means I think he'll attack on his own. Which can be a good and a bad thing. I think it also raises his attack like most, uh, yeah, there we go. Like most berserks in these sorts of games do. Bosses never last too long in these games, though, so those sorts of poison effects really aren't that, that, that bad. Speed, okay. Entrancing Jig. I want to know what those are right now. Increases speed, that's super good. And... There's, a uh, there's no description on that, alright. And it doesn't look like you're poisoned anymore, so let's just, let's just head out. Welcome to the City of Forms. You know, I think now's a good time to end this. I will see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.